I would rip you to shreds. Bring him back to me, Paul, at least. I don't see, mate. You was on balls with me. I'd fucking kill you, mate. I would rip you to shreds. You know what, lad? You need to train, yes, because you've not got one. You need to train your brain because you ain't got one of them either. Do you know, you know what I'm saying? Eh? Fat boy. Do you think you beat me? I'm 13 stone at the age now, yeah? If we started training proper, right? I could jump up a, bit, uh, a little bit more, like, and then punch your head in even harder. I mean, I beat you at this fucking weight now. If you want to fight, we're doing on 3D fight card. Like Dr. Rackpool video, eh? He's slating cesspit, but all Dr. Rackpool does is get drunk on the park. Let's have it right, people. He's on about people begging. He's the biggest bag on YouTube. He's the biggest talk on YouTube. And he's cock on YouTube with his mouth. Not that he can do anything with his hands, like. His tongue's the hardest thing on YouTube. His fucking tongue, let me tell you. The guy's a Muppet. It's called Dr. Rackful. Rackful of shit. Because he's an absolute fucking donut. Rackful, don't be fucking calling Cespit, mate, because you're just a fucking freak yourself. You can't do shit, and you can't say fuck all about it. And you can't even do nothing about it, neither. And see, these older ones, they'll teach you and smack you into next week, you'd have guns. So, well, Paul Birch, yeah. You're not Tony Burkitts, mate, are you? I hope not, because he's a rapist, so why are you after bang getting your mate banging on when you're a nonce enabler? Come on, mate. You're supposed to be a big tough guy from Salford, mate. Eh, ah, kid. You ain't no fucking tough guy, mate. Yeah? You know what I call Big Blue Vein? Deep Blue Vein? Yee. Hey. Hey, Woodsman, this one's back to you, my mate. Of course they'll do that with you, you and Mike Paul. Not a problem. It's about time our old YouTubers, yeah, started doing something together instead of being fucking arguing and bitching and all that. It's about time we did something and did something positive for the community. They're about to sick of even about fighting and arguing and that, even though it's fucking funny as fuck sometimes, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, for you tonight, I should send it, I thought I'd send this to you direct, mate. Listen, if you want fucking beef with me or something like that, yeah, then, 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 obviously, you know I called you out last night in Expo. But if you don't, mate, don't ever send me any texts like that again, mate, please, because you just, my, my kids see them and all that and they think, what, what have you done? What they going to expose you about? And things like that. Do you know what I mean, mate? I don't want my daughter or my son asking me questions like that when they don't need to answer questions like that. Do you know what I mean? Darren G. Ex washed up wannabe herd man gangster. Actually, I know his brother, Danny. If anybody's a psycho and you can fight out the two of them, Danny's famous for it, but he bought in jail. When he was outside in Liverpool, I'm not, I remember rightly because I was in Walton with him, when he'd just been shot in the stomach of someone just before, but that's what that's, it just come in. Just... Well, I hear Decker right here has absolutely filled his knickers yet again. He must owe you a fortune, buggies, for fuel and all that, for all fucking about he's done to you, little man. Do you know in the grass, G.A.? <laughs> yeah. I've told you on Santa Paul. Your brother Danny made that name, and your Stephen. There was no mention of Darren, G. When we were kids and when we were younger, it was the Darren. No, there wasn't, was there, you little muppet? You just got caught up in something that got a long time because you started uh, thinking you were bad. Well, bad people get bad treatment and that's why you got jail for so long because you're a fucking muppet. Muppet. Paul Ellis, instead of licking fucking both shit's ring, why don't you just ring me? I'll, I'll send you my number and arrange something with Ian and Dougie here. Yeah. And we'll have an old school bang. 
bang, you know what I mean? We'll have a few bangs, an old school few bangs. I'll put your money on it, it doesn't matter about weight. I'll put your money on it, I'll bang you out. I'll even put a few quid down on it. So, Tony Ellis. <laughs> Tony Burkett's bitch. Paul Burchett. <laughs> Film about that. Well, you know I've watched you for ages. You'll never be fighting trolls, fighting trolls, major, yeah? You've caused that much fucking fights and bullshit, you mate. But I don't mean you just have a one off. You're a lot younger than me. I think you're a lot bigger than me, but. I go gym a lot, me pal, a lot, near enough every day, and I know a million percent, I'd knock you out of it for three minutes of a burn up bike, I know for fucking fuck, so that's why I keep asking for bikes. Mitchell, I can't say anything about him, right, because there's legit reasons why me and James Mitchell didn't fight, legit reasons, and I respect the guy. But you, mate. You don't want to thank fighting trolls or fuck all. You're an ugly looking guy who gives you mouth. The only thing you haven't got is your mouth because you ain't got your word. You ain't got fucking mouth to be honest with you. Why don't you find me, mate? <coughs> I've asked everybody else in your bottle it. If you've got any, any minerals or any going on in you, you find me both. Film boy, you fucking idiot. Do you know you've not got three fucking pence? A man fucking two grand. That's why you've had to leave it till fucking January, February. You know what? You're actually scared, are you? Because somebody's challenging. You know what? They can laugh all you want on your panel, right? I've just watched it back and, and read the comments. You know what? You're looking more of a muppet than I am, mate. Film boy, you're looking mate late because you're not allowed out after a certain o'clock. You little rat. No, he's in Leeds. You little scumbag. You know what? Uh, Hey, you little bugger. You know I'm gonna bum you out, don't you? You don't care, don't you? And I'm gonna shag you when I get you. <laughs> I'll not even turn on the. Well, you can call people like you what you want, but. I'll knock you out and I'll bum you, real boy. <laughs> the bully, fucking wanker. Why would you do that to a decent guy who actually helps people? What do you do for people, cyber bully? Not a lot. You you know more sports is not like that, mate. So why have you done that? Hundred percent. Yeah, no worries with that. Um, you got some your, some of your footage at least proved that you're training, which is right. It's it's just for people's health, and that's just for uh, health and safety reasons, which I totally get that expo. So respect to you for that. But um, yeah, it's my picture of health right now, and. Um, just gonna over someone and believe it or not, but I'm on the banks back now. Um uh, I'm trying to think who I can call it. Uh, what do you think? What about what about what's plates Bobby Care? He thought Ben Hatch it, didn't he? Ben Hatch it's like my weight. I could slim down if he needed me to, like um not a problem, like, I could drop weight, like, quick time. I could soon turn into ten and a half stone or ten stone if he wants it or that. Uh, or he can stay off the drugs and he can find me at my weight, which is like twelve and a half stone. I'd fight him at that. That's probably, that's probably my normal weight when I'm not in the gym. When I start training and start weightlifting, like, I start going to 30 plus. But, um, okay, okay, hope you're all great anyway. And, um, anybody got any problems? I'll see you in June at Freddy Fight Club. You can see me in person if you want to. One and only, my best friend ever on YouTube. Absolute, well, there's two of them, both Bacons, in my eyes, I can't stand either of them. Poor Paul Bell and Ellis. Eh? Why did you move to Scotland? Pal? Eh? Eh? Your family are actually alright, your family, your family, the other side. 
my year of fucking absolute letdown. Why are you always a gym fucking thing? You know what it is? You're a fat, lazy cunt, right? You can't get out of bed without lying, you, you fucking freak. That's what you can't do. You know what I mean? So, Paul Bell and Ellis, yeah. Please find me, you fucking mug. Because I'd love to snap your fucking shins. Can you lean around your back of your neck, you fucking absolute fraggle? Oh, excuse me, oh, I'm sorry about that. I was supposed to do a chest up. Just an over. No, you're just a lazy bum who just lies to all you people. You're just a fucking dickhead. End of. Be honest with yourself. You're a sausage, you're a lazy bum, right? And you had to move from Salford. I'll say no more, sausage. Cakes on the shins and them liver shots, mate. Well, if you break the ribs, or I'll fucking absolutely fuck them up bad. They'll be gasping. I'll just knock the fuckers out. Pair of them.